Okay, so that's the first question here, guys. This first question it says that so Rakesh, who hailed from Dhanbad, worked in Jamshedpur with SPCI, a government construction company. Although HR policies concerning job securities and work-life balance attracted Rakesh to SPCIL, over time he found his work monotonous with no growth opportunities. However, the proximity to Sanbad enabled him to visit his parents at his convenience. Recently, Rakesh applied to Grow and Prosper, a multinational company, right? So first part talks about here a government construction, com construction company and second part talks here about a multinational company, right? Engaged in construction-related operations, making inroads into many Indian states. GNP interviewed Rakesh and offered him three times his current salary. Okay, fine. At SPCI. Okay, so while consulting GNP's offer, Rakesh pondered over the following facts. So the question says that which of the following combination of the facts, which of the following combination of the facts will best help Rakesh decide on joining GNP? We've got five options here, guys. Okay. Now, so again, once we read option by option, so it's basically if you read uh, statement one. So a recent government policy made poor performance punishable by salary reduction or dismissal, right? Basically, so basically, uh, his uh, the question is about which of the following combination of the above facts will best help Rakesh decide on joining GNP. Okay, the first statement here is that a recent government policy made poor performance punishable by salary reduction or dismissal. Okay, so here step one talks about the government's policy and it's not related to GNP actually because it's a multinational company, right? Thus, this will not help Rakesh in decide, deciding about GNP. Okay, so so that will be element option one. Okay, now read out option two, guys. The first assignment at GNP is a bridge construction project in a village near Dhanbad, right? That's a good point for him. Okay, because he want to visit his parents also. Ah, so this is uh, near to Dhanbad. So first, second is a good point. Third. With his current savings, Rakesh need not depend on regular income for at least six months, right? So since option three talks about regular income, which is not a consideration for GNP job at all, right? He's just looking for the no growth opportunities here, right? Okay, so he's looking for growth opportunities here because he doesn't see any growth opportunities there. Okay, so that's why third is again eliminated. Not a good option. Fourth one, look at fourth one, guys. So though an exemplary performer, Rakesh has been a hardly recognized uh, at SPCIL. Okay, so that's fine, right? Because if he is not recognized at SPCIL, that means his growth opportunities will be affected. That means he may decide joining uh, uh, this uh, um, other company, right? So four is also a good point. And fifth one is based on the annual performance review at GNP, Rakesh will either earn double the salary or get fired. That means fifth one, uh, we all, all also get him decide about uh, GNP joining because see you have to see Rakesh deciding on joining GNP here right that means it could be it could be uh, positive also could be negative also that means because we have to get that decision right okay so he sees that uh, based on the annual performance here he will either earn double the salary or get fired and this passage talks about somewhere about the job uh, job security also job security here also okay and work life balance right so job security may not be there so this point will help him to decide he should join uh, other company or not, that is GNP or not, right? So five, four and two will help us decide. So E is the answer. Correct, right? Okay. Now let's go to this question, guys. This uh, We have got three, uh, one question, three sets here. Okay. Now the second question here says that Rakesh who held from Hindanbad worked in, uh, so uh, second question now, Rak read from here. So Rakesh in his current job, came across incidences of bribing by private sector officials. He wondered if he might have to bribe government officials while at GNP. He reflected on his interview with GNP. So now he's reflected on reflecting on his interview with GNP here. Okay. So basically the interviewers were puzzled how Rakesh could manage his EMI with his current income. Right. So now just read the question first guys. This question says that which of the following sequences of the above statement is it is in the most appropriate descending order of bribing undertones. So descending order of bribing undertone means you have to pick the option with the most bribing undertone. Okay, so you have to pick the option here with the most bribing undertone here, right? So basically, uh, <coughs> among among here among the options here, okay. So we have to pick who most bribing undertone here, okay, in, in tone here, fine. So if you look at uh, this uh, statement, guys. The first one is obviously in a bit bribing tone because 
interviews were puzzled how Rakesh could manage his EMI with his current income. Okay, so he's a government employee and he's thinking about after that, uh, this incident is reflecting on his interview after this incident, right? So they're, they're puzzled at how manage, how, why interview interviewer would ask him that how he could manage his EMI with his current income. That means he has some extra source of income also. Huh? And that puts a bit of bribing down here. Okay, so uh, one obviously will come. May not be the best one, but one will come obviously, right? Okay, now two, one interviewer was constantly probing how Rakesh managed to meet his project deadlines and little cooperation from his subordinates, right? So me, it it also sounds with a bit of bribing tone, but not much actually, right? So bribing tone is here, but not uh, exactly because he was constantly probing how Rakesh managed to meet his project deadlines. So how there's a government, he's in a government company and how that uh, in government company, he always meets his project deadlines without uh, with a very little cooperation from the subordinates, right? It's got a little tone of bribing, not much actually. Okay, so we'll see that part, right? Later on. Third, what would you do if your project has a fortnight's deadline and it takes a month to obtain a permit, right? So what would you do if the project or if your project has a fortnight's deadline here, right? So he's saying that the project has a fortnight deadline, that means a 15 days deadline, okay? And it takes a month to obtain a permit then in that case, what would you do? So that means this has a got a hard bribing tone here, this third one, right? Because uh, it is saying that uh, it, it has a uh, 15 day deadline is there, but he gets one month to permit, right? So how would you manage? So basically the interviewer are putting some bribing tone. That means you have to bribe actually. Rakesh needs to bribe the other people, right? So that means this has got a good bribe, uh, high bribing tone actually. A good it cannot be never bribing tone cannot be good right so it has a high bribing tone here so third has got a high bribing tone okay and then if you did the fourth one a question that interviewed Rakesh was should a pack of dacoids share their loot with one of their gang who had killed a bystander against their motto those shall not kill so basically it's a phrase here a kind of phrase a kind of indirect statement that uh one so we are looting something so you get to also share about it right Huh. So they're trying to put Rakesh indirectly there. Okay. So with the options, if I put, so three is the best actually. Uh, three is the, uh, three is having high bribing tone. One is also having a uh, bribing tone, but it's a little bit less than three because one says that they were puzzled how Rakesh could manage his image with his current income. That means some extra source of income. So three, then one. Okay. And between two and four, four is a more indirect one through a kind of a phrase and all. Okay. So four will come until last. So two will come in the third. This will be the answer, right? So option answer should be D here. Okay. So you hope all of you got this, right? Let's move to the next question, guys. Now, again, last question of this set here. Okay. Look at this head, guys. He says that uh, while milling over uh, over the offer, Rakesh <coughs> consulted Mani Kandan, his trusted senior at SPCIL. Mani Kandan, who had friends in GNP, disclosed that it uh, preferred government employees for its projects in Jharkhand, Bihar, and Chhattisgarh. Once the project is completed, GNP may not need your skills. Observed Mani Kandan. This is observation, right? Which is following, if true, will best enable Rakesh to decide on the offer. Okay. So again, we have got five options here, guys. Okay. So which is following, if true, will best decide to Rakesh on this offer. Okay. Now, so option A is here. Uh, as GNP also planned to enter two southern states, it has decided to recruit people from those states. Okay. So basically, uh, since Rakesh, uh, it, he will be working on a project in Dhanbad, the projects in southern states do, will not affect him here, right? So basically one will not be here. I can just eliminate option A here. Okay. Now option B here, guys. Okay. Receive senior level employees, uh, employees at GNP who began their career in similar projects are now confined to their desk at the head office for almost a decade, right? So that, that's a good point because he, in the passage, it says that he was looking for growth opportunity basically rather than money here, right? So you're looking for growth opportunities and senior level employees at GNP who begin their career in similar projects are now confined to their desk 
desk at the head office means basically they are at a desk job right now not much to do not much creativity okay and and for almost a decade here that's a good point for akesh to decide that he should not join gnp okay so you have to just decide on the offer here right you just have to decide on the offer it could be positive could be negative right okay so b is a good point c during the interview gnp quizzed if rakesh would sustain his relationship with his former colleagues at spcil okay so during the interview of gnp a gnp quiz if rakesh would sustain his relationship with his former colleagues at spcil right again so basically option 3 and if you read option 4 also through uh, social media rakesh discovered that manikandan's contact who had left spcil to join gnp is no longer with gnp right so both these options c and d actually do not have any bearing about rakesh's decision on, on on the offer as it is having relations with former colleagues or no contacts not working in gnp basically okay it will not affect the rakesh decision uh, decisions okay so basically uh, third also same thing c also same thing right that during the interview a uh, gnp quiz that if rakesh would sustain his relationship so basically sustaining relationship with the former colleagues at spcil cil or fourth one uh, any previous colleague who is who left gnp so why he left he doesn't know the reason behind it right so that's why 3 and 4 both are ir- irrelevant and last one Manikandan stopped both of his sons from taking a private sector job given by his loyalty to the government. Right? Again, option five talks about Manikandan, while the question is about will it affect Rakesh decision decision or not? Right? So again, E is irrelevant. So B is the best answer for this question. Okay. So it was a good set, right? Uh, of of exactly that twenty twenty. So again, next uh, video we'll continue the series of decision making, guys. Okay, and we'll do a couple of good sets of twenty twenty also. Thank you for watching.